What's up guys? Welcome to boss week day number two. We are going to be checking out Vorkath. So there is an achievement. Uh, undead dragon. Kill 50. Basically kill 50 Vorkath. You need a severed head and you need to make an assembler. Uh, 50 kill count you're guaranteed it. Now I believe you can get the head before that. So that would be lucky if we managed to accomplish that. But I'm guessing we're probably going to have to kill around 50. I don't even know if we can do that today, because this is kind of a harder boss, at least for me. I don't know. I know the mechanics, but I still don't expect this to go smooth. Okay, so I guess we'll talk about the mechanics while we're at it. This attack is the Venom attack. Basically, you just walk around avoiding the Venom. I believe you have to walk, because I think if you run, it'll damage you, or I don't know, maybe it's just harder. And then once it ends, you're good to go. It has multiple magic attacks, so you're going to be praying magic the entire time. A lot of them hit through... Uh, prayer and then you'll also have to worry about anti-fire if you have an extended anti-fire or the super free anti-fire or whatever that would definitely be better it can disable your prayers and it also can spawn this little zombie fire to spawn if you use un crumble undead it will guaranteed kill it so that's uh, it's worth bringing and then if you want to set your quick prayers get your prayer back on and there's one more mechanic hopefully we can get it uh, it also can venom you, which I didn't bring any anti-venom, so that might start sucking. Like I said, I don't think we're going to kill 50. I'm not good at this boss. Maybe I need to try to work on my gear. I don't know. I'll get better, though. So basically, the last mechanic is going to be kind of hard to show because it happens very quickly, and I have to make sure I'm dodging it. He'll shoot this big orange fireball into the sky, and it's going to, like, land on top of you. And if you do not move from where you're standing, it will one-shot you. So all you have to do is just move a little bit. I can't try to get this on film. It, it should do a special attack soon. Ah, oh, did that one. Uh, if you don't do it, I think it. What does it just do damage to you? I think it's supposed to heal it, but I'm not under percent sure if it does that because it didn't show. I don't think we're gonna be able to kill this one. Okay, so it is 9:50, and this is gonna be my last kill. If you look at the kill count, unfortunately, we did not do a lot. Uh, yeah, this boss is a little bit harder than I expected. I mean, I've done it before on actual old school, like on, uh, I think on Trailblazer League. Uh, so I was familiar with the mechanics, but I just, my gear is not great, and I don't hit very good. So it, it's kind of slow. Uh, so I think what we'll do is tomorrow we will do Armadillo, and we will try to upgrade some of our pieces. Maybe, actually, you know what, maybe, eh, yeah, we'll stick with Armadillo, but I also want to do some Cerberus. I think Cerberus will probably be the next boss we do after that. And I know that these videos are kind of small and short, and we're not really getting a lot of kills or getting a good in-depth at the boss. Uh, in hindsight, probably one day, and it's not like I've played the entire day. I've been off and on uh, playing, and it's uh, it's been 95 degrees, like, all day, so I do not want to just sit on the computer and, you know, do this. So I've definitely been taking breaks, and, uh, yeah, it's a little unfortunate when we got 16 kills. And nothing interesting to show about them, and I, I can't even show you what we did get, because it doesn't track it for some reason. I'm guessing it's just the way the loot is dropped. I really don't know. I never bothered to check any of that, but yeah, it doesn't track it. I feel like I've spent more time like collecting supplies to do Vorkath than I'm actually you know, doing Vorkath. Like, if you looked at what I was just showing you, the... Uh, uh, oh, no! Whoo! That was close. That was close. Anyways, as I was showing you, Love Dragons, I had to get these, uh, the, the potion I sipped earlier. I don't even know if I sipped it, but uh, extended super anti fires. I also had to do a little bit of herb lore because apparently I don't have any lance dimes at all. So I, uh, I had to go plant a seed and then uh, wait for that to grow to get some more. I figured it wasn't really worth it to get anti-venoms because I have Sanfu Serums and those are pretty good. And since I'm only doing one kill per trip anyways, I can just recover with Mercy at the Donator Zone and it's cool. Uh, one thing I've done a lot is accidentally teleport. There's three teleports right next to Crumble and Dead. I've done that like four or five times, so I'm sure if I didn't do that I'd have at least 20 kills. Um, but yeah, I think for the next time, I'll, uh, next time I do boss-related stuff, I'll probably just you know take a couple days and do do at least like 10 hours or at least like 150 kills or whatever you know, get a really good sample size, just you know better than this ended up. Last kill, anything to make it great? Nope, nope. But you know, a lot of dehyde is basically what I got. Nothing too fancy, nothing too special. 
Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you tomorrow.